Hello, Steve Dennis here, and today we're going to talk about, in less than five minutes, how to reset your mindset. Come on, let's grow. Let me give you a funny story, okay? About 15 years ago at my home, my wife was doing her hair in the bathroom and she had a blow dryer going and she also had something else plugged up and all of a sudden the power went out in the bathroom and uh, I thought oh my goodness don't know what we're going to do we went and open up the little breaker thing and um, I couldn't get, in, get anything figured out with that so I called an electrician and he wound up being a buddy of mine and he came by the next day we went a whole day without having power in the, in the bathroom my friend came over and uh, he walked in the bathroom and literally less than 15 seconds, he walked out with a big old smile on his face. And all of a sudden, by the way, the lights came back on. He said, Steve, come here for a minute. <laughs> I walked in the bathroom where he was located. And he showed me these two buttons. One was black and one was red. And I think the red one, if my memory serves me correctly, the red one said, had a little, a little you know, a little, label on it that said reset. He said, Steve, all I did was I punched this button and it reset everything within the bathroom. <laughs> I said, Charles, are you going to charge him anything? He said, nah, this one's on me. Just remember, if you ever had this problem again, instead of calling an electrician, all you have to do is walk in the bathroom and hit the reset button. Okay. Well, <laughs> I've learned from that, right? But here's what I do know that you and I also have what I believe a reset button that will help us in shifting and lifting and resetting our mindset and our thinking. And why is that important? My friend, check this out. One of the reasons why it's important is this, because I'm not sure if you knew this, but when a child is born, any child, including yourself and, and me as well, by the time we're 18 months old, 99.9% .9 of us are operating at a genius level. Isn't that amazing? Up to 18 months old, we're operating at a genius level. By age five, 20% operate from this capacity. And by age 20, only 2% are operating at a genius level. Think about that for a minute. By the time we're 20, only 2% of us are operating at a genius level. Now, last time I did a workshop on this, I had a guy in the audience who he raised his hand to interrupt me. He said, Steve, please tell me, why is that the case? <laughs> okay. I said to myself, I'm so glad you asked because many people are wanting to know why is it that up when I'm up to 18 months old, I'm operating at a genius level, but by the time I'm five, I'm only 20% operating at this capacity, but by the time I'm 20, only 2% are operating at a, at a genius level. And here's the number one reason why that changes is because we learned, we learned the voice of internal judgment and that voice of internal judgment made us wrong. So we tell ourselves that we're wrong instead of telling ourselves that we're right. I want to encourage you real quickly with this particular principle that will help you to instantly in five minutes or less to shift the way you think. Let me give you a couple of questions. Okay. The first question that really helped me <laughs> another story. Okay. That was a job I had back when I was in my late twenties and I was laid off of that job right at the six month period. I won't call the name of the company because you may know somebody who works there right now. <laughs> I don't care. Really, it was UPS. And UPS called me and they called me to let me go after six months. And granted, I, it, I wasn't really cut out to do that kind of work. But here's what happened. I was feeling so bad when they called me because I had never in all my life, even to this day, I've never been let, let off of a job or let go from a job. And so it really crushed my ego. It hurt my feelings. I, I spent about an hour and a half getting over that event. You know what I did after that? I, dra I put on my clothes, I dressed up, put on a shirt and tie, and I went to the hospital to visit people, to go visit people who were less fortunate. 
You know what I was basically doing? Let me give you a question that will help you to instantly shift your mindset. Number one, here it is. Find someone that you can give to. When you give, give a compliment, give some, some assistance, give some, a, a service or give support. The moment you give something out of yourself, in other words, give something from you to somebody else. It is amazing how it literally helps to shift the way you're thinking. I no longer was thinking about, I just lost a job. If, if anything, I was more appreciative that I had a four-time job that I still worked that. And it also taught me, Steve, no matter where you are in life, no matter what your mindset is dealing with, there is always somebody else who may be going through a more challenging event or challenging situation. So I want to encourage you. Here we go. What can you give? What can you give? And the moment that you activate on that giving, it literally helps to shift the mindset. And one last statement, my friend, before I let you go, that has served and supported me over the last 10 years now. And I want to encourage you to do this as well, okay? Think about this question. What would you love? What would you love? I'm going to give you a statement that I want to encourage you to apply, make it an application on a regular basis. Here it is. I am so happy and grateful now that I, and fill in the blank. I'm so happy and grateful now that my mindset has changed. I'm so happy and grateful now that I am living a life that I love in the area of my relationships, in the area of my health, in the area of my vocation, or in the area of my time and money freedom. I am so happy and grateful now that I. Can I challenge you? Can I encourage you? Give it a shot. And notice how you will reset your mindset. Thank you so very much. I've enjoyed our time together. Be well.